Imagine being on a road trip and you need to stop. Not because you ran out of fuel, but because you need to spend 30 minutes charging your battery. And what if they're all being used? Could it be over an hour? Well, Elon Musk has addressed one of the largest concerns with the mega charger, which could fully charge your car in just a few minutes. The mega charger was first introduced to solve a glaring issue Tesla had with the semi truck. The Tesla semi truck requires a lot of energy to move such a large and heavy vehicle, so its batteries need to store a tremendous amount of power. A truck is designed to travel long distances, moving goods across the country. For a battery powered semi to be useful, it would either require a battery that has a super long range or a very fast charging time. It turns out, Tesla did a bit of both, plus something unexpected. The 500 mile range semi would require a 600 kilowatt to 1000 kilowatt battery pack. The 500 mile range semi would require a 600 to 1000 kilowatt hour battery pack. Because a 600 kilowatt hour battery pack weighs around 8000 pounds, it would cut into the payload of the truck, which isn't good considering a truck's main job is to carry a payload. But Tesla has made significant advancements in battery technology since the Semi's debut, including the launch of the 4680 battery cells. Because these cells are lightweight but have a high power density, they may be able to lower the weight of the Semi, allowing for bigger payloads. But there is still one huge issue, the range. Introducing the Mega Charger. The current technology takes too long to charge, so the Mega Charger was designed to cut that time down without losing any of the power or range. The Mega Charger is a high-powered industrial charger that will be able to charge the Tesla Semi in just 30 minutes. This is a vast improvement over the current technology, which can take up to eight hours to charge the Semi's batteries. The Tesla Semi will use a new type of battery cell that Tesla has been developing, which they are calling the Million Mile Battery. This new battery cell is designed to last for 1 million miles, and it will be able to charge and discharge faster than any other battery on the market. A million mile battery does not mean you can drive a million miles between recharges. It means a battery that will last for 1 million miles or more before it can't hold a charge anymore. Most automotive batteries will last approximately 1,000 complete charges. Manufacture guarantees on batteries are limited to around 8 years and 150,000 miles, which is proving to be conservative as batteries are outlasting their warranties in general. A battery with a million mile range might be recharged 4,000 times or more. The Mega Charger is a game changer. Using a mega charger, the Tesla Semi can add 400 kilometers of range in just 30 minutes, reducing the previously expected charge time of 400K from 180 minutes. Tesla has already been working on a mega charger network at truck arrest stations across the United States and Europe, where each Semi will be able to recharge its battery. Let us zoom in on the mega charger to understand it more. Tesla's semi mega chargers have been spotted at the Giga Nevada project in recent months, and overhead photographs of the site recently revealed that four of the Class 8 truck stalls had been constructed. Tesla also posted images of four Tesla semi prototypes that seem to be parked at mega chargers in its Q4 2021 update. As the name implies, the charging station has a power of 100 megawatts, which is four times that of the current supercharger. Mega Charger can deliver more than 400 kilometers of driving range in 30 minutes. The first Tesla Mega Chargers have been physically installed at PepsiCo's Frito Lay factory in Modesto, California. The Kilowatts recently published new photographs of the three booths, but there is no word on whether the chargers are already functioning. Elon Musk said that Mega Charger technology can give 400 miles of range to a Tesla Semi in 30 minutes. This is almost four times the current peak charging power of a supercharge. We now know that Tesla is working with several of its largest Tesla Semi reservation holders to install mega charging stations at their locations. The manufacturer has been at the forefront of electric vehicle charging infrastructure with its supercharger network. 
but semi-trucks are unable to use the network. As a Tesla owner, you may have access to a number of easy charging alternatives that suit your lifestyle and driving requirements. The Tesla Supercharger, on the other hand, is the quickest charging option, enabling you to charge your car up to 200 miles in 15 minutes. There are over 30,000 worldwide superchargers that are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and are positioned on important routes. Tesla's mega chargers, on the other hand, can charge its semis for 400 miles in 30 minutes. In comparison, Tesla's new class of chargers considerably outperform the supercharge, which has led to rumors circling that a normal Tesla car could theoretically charge on a mega charger. Elon Musk seems reluctant to confirm this, however, at some point in the future, it is not crazy to imagine that Tesla charge times will reduce by half, allowing users to fully charge a Tesla model in only minutes. The all-electric truck was initially revealed in 2017 and is the company's first move into non-consumer vehicles. The six-wheeled semi is powered by four independent electric motors that draw power from a battery bank at the base of the vehicle, while it has been delayed since its launch, Elon Musk has confirmed a raft of new product deliveries in 2023, including the much-anticipated Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi. According to a Tesla 2020 impact study, semi-trucks make up 1.1% of the US vehicle fleet, but emit 17% of the emissions. So electrifying fleets of trucks will certainly help to reduce emissions from one significant source. Another interesting aspect of the Tesla Semi is its full self-driving mode, which will allow a fleet to work autonomously. The capitalists among us are rejoicing at the idea of the savings to be had. However, this does pose a serious problem. There are currently 3.5 million truck drivers in America, and being a driver is one of the largest occupations for US men. If these trucks do become autonomous, it's estimated that at least 1.7 million jobs will be lost in the US alone. It's not just truck drivers that will be affected by this, but also the people that work in the service stations and motels along America's highways. While the Tesla Semi is still in its prototype stages, it's important to think about the potential implications that it could have on society as a whole. If you talk to truckers, they're some of the most pro-technology people around because they've seen how technology has helped them do their job better. Presidential candidate Andrew Yang told Yahoo Finance, but there is a real risk here that if we don't get this right and plan for this transition in an intelligent way, a lot of folks are going to be left behind. The Tesla Semi was groundbreaking when it was released in 2017. However, the delays in its delivery have given way for a raft of competitors to catch up. Scania has introduced an electric truck that has a range of 320 kilometers at 40 tons load and 230 kilometer range at the 64 ton load. Volvo is already on its second generation truck with significant improvements. The first generation of Volvo VNR electric had an operating range of up to 240 kilometers. Now an enhanced version two of the electric truck has an impressive range of up to 440 kilometers. Tesla is still ahead of the pack when it comes to infrastructure, battery packs, and more importantly, charging networks, but it may not be long. What do you think of Tesla's mega charger that can charge the semi in 30 minutes? Would being able to charge your Tesla in seven and a half minutes change your decision to get one? Or, if you have one, would that change your life significantly or not really? Let us know in the comments.